Right, gonna have a go at making a mask for this axe. Right, I've never made an axe mask out of Kydex before, but it should be relatively simple to do. So we'll give it a go. I'm only gonna do a little small one, what just covers the blade. Before we do that, I just wanted to show you a couple of other things I've bought recently, kind of cheap things, what you might be able to buy to go with Kydex stuff. One was I recently got another kneeler pad. Do you understand what these are? Put it on the floor, you kneel on it when you're doing gardening and stuff. Haven't tried this one, but the other stuff I'd used and still use, that is kneeler pad as well. So I got that recently, that was from one of these pound shops for a quid. I think I showed you this one. This was a slightly different one. I got this one offline. This was about three quid. It's got a slight pattern on it. It should be alright though. The other thing I'd got recently was these clips. That was from the same thing from Pound Wells. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight clips for a quid. They're not brilliant, but that might work for little small projects. And I thought of this idea, especially for doing the poor man's Kydex, if you don't mind how it looks so much. I bought packets of nuts and bolts, same thing, pound well to quid each. The small ones you might be able to use with HDPE projects and stuff like that. Keep costs down and keep it kind of, you know, common man or poor man, you know what I mean? That was that what I bought. Um, can't think of what else, whether I've got anything else to do with it. No, I think that's it. I'll think of anything else to show you. Right, so we'll start making this axe mask. I won't bore you with the heating up with the heat gun this time. I'll just cut that out. But you're going to see, I'll just see a little bit of it. Right, I've been heating it up for a little while. Right, I'll press that down. Right, I put my weight on that for a while, held it right down, and this is what we've got. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll just have a quick look at it and we'll trim some of the bits off. Try to look for a pencil, which we we'll never find one. Make sure that I'll actually go back in there. So I'm thinking if I put an eye, an eye or something there and there. Hopefully that should work. I'm just going to drill two holes in it now. Right, that's the holes drilled. You just got to make sure you clean off any bits inside. Otherwise, if you don't, it won't close up right. Right, 
put two eyelets in it now. That's one thing I have got, which I forgot to mention, I have recently got some bigger eyelets. But these are actually eyelets with a washer. Whereas normal Kydex eyelets don't have a washer on the back. You just hammer them down, whatever, until it rounds off the end. But these ones, you put this washer over the top and then you hammer it down. So we'll give this a go and see what this is like. As long as this will fit on here. Yep, that's going to be alright. And that goes on there, and you need a hammer. I hope you can see that just about. Oh, on the wrong place. The only problem with these, they're quite, this is small to hold, which is annoying. But I like long ones like this. You know, look at the size of that compared to that. So it's a bit of a nightmare to hold. But I got these for a relatively decent, cheap price. Not brilliant, but it'll do for these kind of projects. It has split a bit. I'll try and get there so you can actually see it. So that's the good side. And that's the not so good side. Doesn't look too bad. Right, I'll put the other one in. Well, that's them both in there. See, that side looks fine. This side, not so good. Not so good, but not absolutely terrible, I suppose, for a home job. And it'll do me for what I want it for. So next I'll cut these bits off, and then we'll do a bit of shaping. Right, first of all, let's actually see if this will fit in there. It doesn't click in, but what we can do is you can put a bit of shock cord here, it will come round, or this one, it will come round the back and hold it on that way. Oh. See it doubled up kind of can be hard to cut. Right, I cut that, I finished it off, I had to cut it with a handsaw. So I give this a bit of shaping now with the Dremel.
probably could have got this a bit smaller but I think I'm just going to keep it like that anyway because nah probably it last thing I've got to do is smooth off smooth it off a bit more then put some shot cord on it so I'll give it a bit of a go over with some sandpaper then we'll have a look at it all we've got to do now is put the shock cord on got some shock cord what Toby sent me so cheers for that mate but the thing is I kept looking at this thinking this looks a lot bigger than most axe masks I've seen and I just figured out why normally when people are making these what they do is if you look at mine I folded mine at the front and then just put two rivets what a lot of other people tend to do is the fold is at the top and it folds over folds over like this Fold, the fold is at the top and then it had riveted along the front and underneath and then it doesn't look so high protruding on the top but I've done mine folded on the front so then you get this higher bit so if you wanted to do it so it wasn't so high you'd have to fold it over the top but then put a lot more rivets or eyelets all the way down the front and some along the bottom if you understand me hopefully this is going to work trying to think of a way I can do this I wonder if I could do it like that possibly well, we'll do it like this for now and see that's through both of them well I'll hold it on there well the other option would have been along the top but then it seemed to pull it like that if you do it just on top well that'll do it that'll work So there is a way of making a small Kydex axe mask. Anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you later. If you liked that video then why don't you share it with your friends and also if you want to see regular videos like this then subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to get full notifications for my channel Go to this little gear symbol next to where it says subscribed, click on that and here where it says send me all notifications for this channel, click on that and then save it.